The year is 2006. I am at the ripe old age of 6 years old, meaning my best years were likely behind me. I spent my days playing on my dad's old NES and, I don't know, eating Lunchables? What do 6 year olds do? But what's this? A strange new white rectangle that you can use to play the Marios with your body? Ho oh, ho, doggy! The Wii was a game changer for the game industry. Ho! Oh, that was a pun! A game console that aimed to bring the casual and hardcore audiences together. Heck, even your grandma who had never even heard of a video game in her life. You can argue about how successful they were at doing this, but you can't deny the impact this philosophy had on the industry for years to come. Flash forward a quick decade and what? Mario Odyssey on the toilet? Uh, yeah, here are my life savings the key to my house. You want my firstborn child? I think they're around here so- It seems like the Switch can do no wrong these days. When one of the biggest complaints is that you have too many good games, you're doing something right. But the true gaming connoisseurs among you may realize that something was left out. The missing link cast aside by the flow of time. Today, folks, we're talking about the video game equivalent of middle child syndrome. The myth, the forgotten legend, the Wii U. My assistant Richard, like many, thought the Wii U was a bad console. But he's also an idiot and he's wrong. And today, I'm going to prove just that. Richard, hit that intro. I said, hit that, Richard. Ri no, Richard, come, I'm, look, I'm sorry. Richard, come on, man. I, the Wii U, it's great. I just, come on, just play the intro and I'll prove it. What do you mean you already? Before we get into it, I want to preface something. I freaking love the Wii U. It came at a time in my life when all my friends thought they were so cool with their Xboxes and their Playstations, but jokes on them. They had to come over to my house whenever they wanted some sweet, sweet carding action. But in the end, it looks like they got the last laugh. The Wii U totally underperformed and was largely viewed as a failure by the wider gaming community. Today, I aim to right that wrong and shine some light on the dark horse of Nintendo. Shoutouts to all you middle children out there. You may be forgotten, but at least you got some good company. The problem with the Wii U doesn't lie in the quality of the console itself. It lies, in my opinion at least, in the marketing. Nobody knew what the heck this thing was when it first came out. Is it a new thing? It uses Wii remotes, and it's got Wii in the title, but I've already got a Wii, why would I buy this other thing? To the casual eye, it seems like the only thing that separates the Wii from its younger brother is the gamepad, and that itself is pretty gimmicky to begin with. Man, I am on it with these segues. I'm pretty sure the idea behind the gamepad was to be like a really big DS. You got the TV as your main screen, but a secondary touchscreen to be used for whatever you want. A good idea in theory, but there are two main problems with it in practice. One, it didn't have PictoChat. PictoChat is life! But second, unlike the DS where basically every game used the bottom screen in some way or another, it feels like barely any games for the Wii U even used the thing, and most of the ones that did felt more like cheap gimmicks than well-implemented features. As a result, most games just displayed a map or something on the bottom screen that I barely used, and a lot of times, I forgot it was even there. That being said, I actually really like the Wii U gamepad as just a straight up controller. The sticks are silky smooth, the buttons feel great and don't stick, and I just like how big it is. A lot of controllers are too small for me, my hands cramp up after using them for a while, but the gamepad has plenty of room to spread out. But who cares about a controller? Like I said, most games don't even use the thing. What really makes or breaks a console is its games. And you thought the Switch had too many good games? Why do you think half of them are just Wii U ports? Super Mario 3D World managed to bring the crisp platforming and exploration of the 3D games together with the chaotic bloodbath that is multiplayer 2D Mario. If Nintendo can do one thing, 
It's making you want to murder your friend on the couch next to you and have a blast while doing it. Or how about Mario Maker, which simultaneously single-handedly made the Wii U gamepad worth it and murdered classic 2D Mario for good. And sure, Smash 4 might not be as insane as Ultimate, but for its time, it was pretty freaking mind-blowing. Guys, Breath of the Wild is on the Wii U. This game's library puts Alexandria to shame. And sure, it might not look as sexy as the Switch version, and a lot of people will say that the Wii U underperformed in the graphics department, but Mario Kart 8 is one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen, so y'all can shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just... I really like the Wii U, okay? But if there's one area that the Wii U gamepad excelled in, it's party games. No joke, if you are having a party with people who are video game fans or not, it doesn't matter. Bust out your Wii U and have it set up in the corner, you will not regret it. And before you say it, yes, I know. 8 player smash on the Switch is admittedly hard to beat. But have you seen how much a pair of Joy-Cons costs? Unless you've got a spare soul kicking around, there's no way you're going to get 8 people playing this comfortably without people having to bring their own controllers. Smash 4 may not have the crazy roster, but it's still got 8 player mode. And if you're like me, you've got enough spare Wii remotes kicking around to fill a landfill. And if you don't, you definitely know someone who does. Smash not your style? No problem. I already talked about Mario Kart and it's fine looking butt, but how about Nintendo Land? I don't actually own this one, my Wii U came with Mario Kart instead, but it didn't matter because I had so many friends who did once they eventually saw the magic of the Wii U and caved. But let's play devil's advocate and say that nothing on the Wii U itself scratches your party itch. No problem! How about you take a dive into the literal ocean of party games for the Wii? Pop those bad boys right in and you're ready to go. I'm telling you guys, the Wii U is the party king. In fact, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. The Wii U has the best library of games for any console ever. You can disagree if you want, just know that you're wrong and I can prove it to you in two simple words. Virtual console. You want some NES games? Done. SNES? You got it. N64, GBA, check and check. You thought the thing worked kind of like a big DS? Psych, it was a big DS all along. Combined with backwards compatibility with the Wii, there is basically no game you can't play on here. You say no GameCube support? Well, I raise you one Wind Waker HD. Uh, yeah, hello, Jesus? Sorry, man, you've been replaced. The Wii U is here to stay. But there is one problem with the Wii U. Just one. I don't... I don't know how it happened. I just... I came downstairs one day, and I found it like this. I tried everything I could do, but it was too late. I couldn't save it. And it was on that day that I realized the Wii U didn't fail because of some marketing faux pas. No. The Wii U was murdered. And I know what you're saying. Chips, what does your Wii U gamepad being broken have to do with the success of the console as a whole? Hey, look, look, it's a metaphor, alright? It's deep. You gotta think about this stuff. And mark my words, I will not rest until the culprit is found. I will not stop the hunt until justice is served. I will avenge the memory of the Wii U or die trying. On that day, Mr. Chip died as a beard without a trace. Nobody can say for sure why or where he went, but it's not unreasonable to assume that he set out to find the Wii U's killer. What he will do once he finds them, well, perhaps it is better that we do not know. Already there have been rumors and stories abound of terrible things happening to anyone who insults the Wii U. Many believe Mr. Chip died, or the Wii Crusader, as the public has dubbed him, 
is behind these attacks, though these allegations have yet to be verified. Not a soul has seen or heard from Mr. Chiptai since his disappearance. That is until he suddenly resurfaced earlier this week. Whether it is because he was finally able to get his revenge, or he was able to come to terms with the loss of his beloved, nobody knows. Upon his return, he issued this statement. The Wii U was a beacon of light in this cruel, cruel world. Chastised for its innocence and cast aside because of its name, it was a gift that this world did not deserve. And a gift that it has no longer. Goodbye, sweet, sweet Wii U. The world may have forgotten you, but I never will. Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. Wait, a new gamepad costs how much? Oh no, you get back here right now. The buttons and sticks still work just fine. Nothing even used the freaking screen anyway. And that's the Wii U. I know it had some problems, but I'll always have a soft spot for this little guy. But, if you guys did enjoy this episode, as always, let me know by leaving a like, or more importantly, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. I'm always looking for suggestions on how to improve. But, if you want to see more from me right now, you can click on one of the videos that's probably floating around to me, I don't know what they are, or you can go on my channel, there's a whole bunch of other stuff from old episodes of the Chip Tide Show, to a huge backlog of Let's Plays, you're bound to find something you like, but I will see you in the next episode, but until then, don't forget to take it easy.